What's up guys, welcome to the channel. Different kind of intro today because I didn't film one for this video, but we are out on the water and we have a little bit of a tough day. We do catch some fish on drop shots and on a jerk bait and I give you some good jerk bait pointers in this video. And I also talk about a product that you guys are probably gonna wanna sign up for after watching this video. So make sure to watch all the way to the end for all the pointers and all the fish catches, guys. Think this is a good video and I think it's a great product you guys are gonna wanna check out. So. I'll see you at the end. There we go. Finally caught a fish. Took me all day. Feels like a good one. Feels like a good one. Get out of the trees though, man. No, don't go in the trees. Don't go in the trees. There we go. Not a good one, little guy. But we'll take him. Took all day to get that little guy. Not what we're after out here, boys. Well, we just caught a bass. It was about a pound and a half -er. Two pounds if we were lucky. It was a skinny guy. It didn't look very healthy. But uh, at least it's something pulling. I've broke off a couple fish today. I think I had a good one on a spinner bait. And it just got me in a tree and the line just broke. It was crazy. Uh, I had 15 pound test so it shouldn't have broke that easy. But I don't know. Maybe there's a nick in it. Maybe there's a quag on it. I don't know exactly what was going on there. But we just got one on the drop shot with the old glitch. It's a staple for me. And uh, hopefully we can get a couple more because it's gonna get dark here pretty soon. We're gonna get kicked out of here. Another one on the drop shot. This one feels little. Oh yeah, oh yeah, real little. I gotta interrupt the video real quick because I want to talk to you about a product that some of you may not know about, but I want you guys to know about it. So don't fast forward through this part. This is something that you're wanna, gonna wanna check out because it might be something that you actually want, unlike a lot of these sponsor pitches or product pitches that you might get in different YouTube videos. This is one that you might wanna check out. So what I wanna talk to you about real quick is the Six Sense Six Sack. This is the most recent sack that I have gotten from Six Sense. I believe it's the October sack. So what I wanna do real quick is I'm gonna show you exactly what they put in that month. So we're gonna do a real quick unboxing during this video. So what we got first is the 25MD in the gold reactor. If you got golden shiners, this is something that you're gonna want, especially if they're on some small little bait, golden shiners, maybe some dingy water, great bait for that. We got a couple more baits in there as well. We got the Curve 55's Finesse Square Bill. This is another great bait for this time of year in a perfect color. A lot of times the bait is super small. It's the smallest it's gonna get all year right now as we go into winter. And a little square bill just like this is gonna mimic that tiny bait really, really well. It's not gonna get super deep, which is perfect for this time of year, because a lot of times those bass are gonna push those fish up to the surface, so having a small, tiny little square bill like this one is perfect. Next bait in the sack is going to be the Hyper Jerk in the 4K Shad. Once again, it is all about the shad as we're going from the fall into the winter. These fish want to be gorging on shad, fattening up for the winter. This little jerk bait goes subsurface. It's gonna imitate those shad running away from those fish, whether it's in the back of the cuts, on the main lake like it is here at home, these fish are all over the bait and having a bait like this can be key to getting those fish to strike. We got plenty more in the sack, guys, so stay tuned. We have the Six Sense Axle Hybrid Jig in an awesome color. You can't go wrong with a green pumpkin black color. It's a staple all over the country. Dirty water, maybe not be gonna be your best pick, 
However, you put a black and blue trailer on there, it's probably gonna work for you. But any of that clear water to some of that stain to a little bit of that dinge, you're gonna be doing great with the hybrid jig. This right here has a hinged hook on it and it's also gonna help you to have that EWG style hook in there. So it's gonna give you a weedless jig presentation without that big weed guard like most jigs have. And we got plenty more in here, guys. We got a pack of ox flipping hooks, five pack, any four aught size. We flip all over the place, all over the country. You can never have enough flipping hooks. I have a feeling that there's some sort of plastic that's gonna be in this sack that's gonna complement this very well, which is what Six Sense usually does in their sack. Whatever soft plastics they go in there, they usually hook you up with the hooks as well. So let's keep looking. Let's see what we got in here. We got another awesome crankbait for this time of year. We're going into that winter time. Lava Truce and the Flat 75X. The Flat 75X is awesome when it comes to cold water, shallow fishing, a flat sided crankbait comes in absolutely key come winter time. And having it in a red color like this is also key. We've done some damage on the lower Colorado River fishing that grass when it's super cold. We've got some good fish out there. So this is a staple bait to have come winter time if you're fishing shallow. We got more in the sack as well. We have one last thing in the sack, and what it is is prawns in the June bug red color. What I tell you guys, there's probably gonna be a plastic in there that's gonna complement those flipping hooks really, really well. June bug is a great color all over the place. It plays up at the Delta when the water's super dirty. It's gonna play in Florida, it's gonna play in Texas, it's gonna play all over the country. You can't go wrong with your purple hues, especially around dirty water. Guys, if you wanna get signed up for the Six Cents Six Sack. What it is, is basically a monthly subscription program. You're gonna sign up for it, however long you wanna sign up for it, and then they're gonna send you baits every single month to your door. It's a mystery sack. You don't know what you're getting until they send it to you, but it's always awesome Six Cents products, just like the sack that I gave you right now. Sometimes they're gonna put exclusive unreleased colors, brand new baits, baits that haven't been released yet. So this is something that you definitely want to sign up for. I do have a discount code for you guys if you wanna sign up for it. The discount code is Luna Super 6 So head over to the Six Cents Fishing website, sixcentsfishing.com, check out all the details on their subscription sack, and then at checkout, make sure to use Luna Super 6 That's what's gonna give you the discount. And um, any other products that you ever wanna buy at Six Cents, make sure to use discount code Luna10. That Luna 10 will not work for the six sack. So make sure that you use that Luna super six code and guys, awesome, awesome product from six cents right here. There we go. Jerk bait fish. Stay on there. There we go. There we go. For some reason, whenever the jerkbait bite is on at this place, you met, you end up catching a little bit better fish than you would when you're worming and stuff, which I think is a cool thing. Ugh. Better than that worm fish, healthier fish. Had to let it pause for a long time and uh, just got him. This guy was hooked good too. I feel like the bite's starting to turn on because it's getting towards dark. Not bad. So a couple things when it comes to the jerk bait is you gotta figure out the right cadence, you gotta figure out the right depth, and you gotta figure out the pause that you need to have between jerks. That's part of the cadence, but sometimes you gotta go really, really long with those, with those pauses. Sometimes you go really fast, a couple seconds in between. Sometimes you gotta do like a 15 to even a 20 count. And sometimes that can unlock the jerk bait bite, especially when that water gets cold. That's, that basically means slower, longer pauses. If the water's colder, use those longer pauses. If it's warmer, generally you can get away with working a little bit faster, but sometimes those fish are just a little bit sluggish and you need to slow it down and really pause for a while. There we go. Got one. A drop shot. I don't know if it's big or not. 
But we're hooked up. Hopefully it stays on there. Another one on the glitch. They eat this bait here. It's been a tough day so far, but starting to get a bite here and there, which is good. Come on, man. There we go. There we go. Not bad. Skinny. Needs to eat some more. This guy's got like a three pound head with a two pound body. Skinny guy. There we go. little guy but at least we're gonna end the day with a fish catch last one guys Well guys, wasn't a total loss, but it definitely wasn't one of our best days out here. Um, caught some small fish, had a couple, you know, two and a half, maybe three pounders, but good day out on the water. It was good to get out in here and fish a little bit. I um, only got like a half a day at the most. Um, got here in the afternoon and uh, put a few fish in the boat. So no complaints. Hope you guys enjoyed seeing that six sack unboxing in the middle of the video guys sign up for that discount code is luna super six for that and then anything else over at the six cents website luna 10 so i'll see you guys in the next video see ya